All right, I'm here with Brett Kingma from the Jackson High School boys basketball team. And I'm here to ask Brett a little bit about being a uh, top-notch shooter and what it takes to get to that level. Uh, so Brett, first of all, I just want to ask you, um, what's your first memory of shooting a basketball? Do you, you recall kind of the first uh, time you shot a ball? Um, I remember just growing up and always, you know, having a ball in my hands and I grew up in a cul-de-sac with three hoops and a bunch of kids. So I just remember always, you know, trying to shoot from as far out as I could and just all day, you know, in the summers and kindergarten, um, you know, when school started, it was a little different, but I remember through, you know, up through when school started, I would just be out there all day. Um, and then after school, just, that's all I really did when I was a kid, you know. Try to do it, you know, it's the thing I love to do, so. And you've been hooked ever since? Anything, yeah. <laughs> um, when did you realize that you were going to be pretty good at this and that you, uh, you know, were a good shooter? I um, mean, yeah, I've always been really confident in my shooting. Like, I've never really doubted myself. So I don't really ever qu think I ever questioned whether I'd be good just growing up, like watching you know, Shane Battier and Jason Williams from Duke when I was really little. Those are the guys I really looked up to. Yeah. So I don't think I ever doubted myself, just um, kept shooting and, you know, eventually got to the point where I, you know, saw it within my reach and then just eventually, you know, worked toward the point where I can earn myself, uh, you know, college scholarship. Yeah. Uh, what do you think your best shooting performance is? Is there a, a particular game that stands out in your head? Um, I think eighth grade, um, I had like, I had 60 points in a tournament in Yakima. Oh my god. <laughs> this summer in the Franklin Slam, I, uh, I had 54 on Anacortes. Wow. So That's I, your dad's old team. Yeah. So it's all, yeah, it was, it was kind of cool. I had to do it to him. He <laughs> yeah. a little smack, but, um. Did you miss any shots in those games? <laughs> uh, I think, I think I shot. At least Anacortes, I don't remember in eighth grade, but um, against Anacortes, I probably shot like 80%. Wow. I just, eighth grade where I really started to get a scores mentality. I, you know, I always shot, but I was kind of, you know, more selective and, that, um, you know, not as athletic. So yeah. I created my shot since eighth grade, and that's, you know, been key in getting off, you know, more shots than other people can. Okay. Now, I know people always ask this, uh, you know, ask shooters about this, but what does it feel like, you know, when you're on like that and just everything is working for you as a scorer? Um, you know, it feels like you can't really miss, and then when you miss, it's kind of like, wow, you know, I mean, it's just, you just keep shooting, and <laughs> the, the rim feels really big, and it just feels good no matter how you let it go. Yeah. I remember Glacier Peak last year, I shot pretty well second game of the year. Um, I remember you were there. Yeah, that was a um, fun game like, to watch. That was one of those games where, you know, just feel like the ball's going in every time. Right. Um, and that's I didn't what you're looking that for. Many shots, but like you know, every time I got it, I felt like the ball would go in. So I mean, it's it's more of like in your mind, you just tell yourself that the ball's going in every time. Okay. Uh, now, what do you do when you're off a little bit? I know you have that confidence, but if four or five shots don't go down, what do you do to snap out of that? My dad, you know, he's always said, you know, he's instilled in me that you know you gotta follow through. That's the first one, and then use your legs. And then, you know, if you try to switch things up too much, you're going to end up missing more. So just, you know, if you miss a couple in a row, just try to forget about it. But just, you know, think about legs and um, following through. Okay. Uh, and so are those the kind of drills that you really work on, just focusing on those skills to yeah, stay good? Yeah. Um, I try to do full speed drills. Um, you know, if you shoot, you can go to the gym and get up, you know, three hours worth of just standing there and shooting, you know, just running, jogging after the ball. But if you go full speed, you know, you can get just as many shots up and it's better for you because you shot that shot, you know, thousands of times. It's more realistic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I also want to ask you, you know, who's your favorite player to watch as far as a shooter? Um, I like Stephen Curry, just the way he, his, you know, just the way he moves without the ball and his body control, I think he takes really good shots and, um, you know, when he's not on, he sets up his teammates and that also helps him get open shots. Okay. And uh, he's already proven himself, uh, obviously, in the NBA, so he's yeah. taking that to the next level. Yeah, I mean, he played Davis, and he wasn't really highly recruited. You know, I don't really consider myself highly recruited. I just, you know, had a couple games where some coaches happened to be there. So, you know, I earned myself a Pac-10 offer. But you know, I, I think, you know, being under the radar helps a little bit where, you know, not as many people know about you. Coming into college, you really have nothing right. to lose, so just... Got to just work as hard as you can. And I know the Oregon Ducks are happy to welcome you in, so uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, I mean, we got a pretty good shooting class. Um, Jabari's going in there, too, obviously. He's one of the best shooters in the nation, so I think, you know, we'll be set and to be able to work out with him all the time when I'm down there and, you know, do shooting drills and challenge each other, I think will, you know, help both of us out a lot. Okay.
Uh, well, Brett, thanks a lot for uh, talking about shooting. And uh, I know you're more than just a shooter and scorer. So just real quick, can you tell me what your uh, most underrated skill might be? Um, I think just you know pushing the fast break and seeing the court. I think um, some people sometimes don't see that. But um, I, you know, I love to push the break and set up my teammates. So. Well, we'll see a lot of that this year. And uh, I appreciate it, Brett. Thanks Thank for you. talking.